Hey, if you've got a freeze dryer like the one behind me and you're trying to freeze dry blueberries but you just can't get the drying process correctly and they all come out inconsistent, you're gonna love this video because I've got a tool that's gonna save you time and money by poking the skin of the blueberry. It's fantastic and I'm gonna show you what it's all about in this video. Hi, I'm David and I'm a freeze-dried business owner in Idaho. If you are an owner of a freeze-dried business or you're trying to start one, this channel's for you. I started this channel because I just couldn't find any visual video representation of what it's like to freeze-dry as a business or to find just videos about how to do different things that can help you in a freeze-dry business. So I started this channel and all the videos that I'm producing is to help you wherever you're at in your business. In today's video, we're gonna freeze-dry blueberries and I'm gonna show you how to use a tool that's really helped me be efficient with doing blueberries. One of the most frustrating fruits for me starting out was the blueberry. And the reason being is because I used to just throw the blueberries right on the tray and I didn't realize that you needed to poke the skin of the blueberry and any other types of fruits that have a skin. Because as you know, the freeze dryer is removing the moisture from any type of item. So with the blueberry, the skin preserves that kind of like compactness water activity in there. And so if it just dries it, it doesn't have a way to release the water. And then you get exploding blueberries that are dried and it just either falls apart and crumbles or it becomes still chewing and it doesn't dry completely. That's the inconsistencies that I found. So I started poking blueberries with an individual metal skewer and I started just poking each individual one on the trays. It took a really long time and it just wasn't efficient. Now I purchased the Rollerberry and this is by the company Frozen Right. The company manufactures a stainless steel roller berry. Now the tool has metal spokes that rotate and then right here is where all the blueberries catch once you roll it and it falls right back on the tray. Now the roller berry tool and then this case that comes with styrofoam in it to keep the stainless steel tool intact that's going to run you about $190. If you just want the roller berry, it's going to run you $160. Now, it pays for itself. I love this tool. I'm definitely an ambassador of this tool because it saved me a lot of time and money. All right, first things is we need to wash the blueberries. Now, if you're not familiar with washing methods, I did look up on the USDA, and you really don't have to wash fruit in any specific way. You just need to run it over cold water. And I usually run it for about a minute or so. So what I use is a strainer like this. And then I'm just gonna use running water and then cold water. And then I use the sprayer to rinse over the blueberries. And then what I do is I usually just take my hands and I kind of turn over the blueberries a little bit so that we get the ones that were at the bottom. Anytime you're freeze drying fruit, you should definitely be washing the fruit beforehand. So again, I'm just making sure I'm getting all of any type of dirt or bacteria that came off the blueberries from the store off of there. So that's probably good. All right, we're gonna use the roller berry. I'm gonna show you how quickly it is to poke blueberries. I've got the blueberries all washed. And what we're gonna do is we just kind of line up the blueberries using the silicone mat from the Harvest right trays, and we simply put the roller berry on the end. We kind of tilt up like this, and then we roll. And look, every, every single one of these blueberries just got poked, which is brilliant. So then we can just toss those in here onto the other tray and get more blueberries. I've got one harvest tray over here, and then I've got this one with a silicone mat. And this was about three pounds of blueberries that I washed and I usually do about three pounds on one tray of blueberries. I haven't noticed any really bad consistencies with putting three pounds versus putting two pounds of blueberries. Again, you just kind of lift up and you roll it all across. This is super efficient to get these blueberries skins all poked. So blueberries are very popular for me because they're kind of just very snacky. They're small, they taste like the blueberries, and they're crunchy. I find that people really buy these because one, if you like blueberries, you're gonna like these. Like I said, they're crunchy. They kind of, people like crunchiness. They like having pretzels. They like having, you know, corn chips and 
things like that and corn nuts. Blueberries kind of provide that crunchiness and it's awesome. And then it also it's freeze dried, so it's preserved. Freeze dried blueberries provides that stability for fresh produce. So I just did three pounds of blueberries. This whole tray right here, three pounds of blueberries. This took only about five minutes using the rollerberry, all poked and everything. All right, I'm gonna set a timer for how long it takes me to do two pounds of blueberries so you can see. Let's go ahead and press start and let's do the rollerberry. Okay, two minutes and 14 seconds to do two pounds of blueberries, all poked and all. Awesome. All right, I just washed two pounds of blueberries and I'm gonna do it without it being poked so that you can see the difference once these are all done of what the difference is with the blueberries if they're not poked versus if they are. All right, I wanna give you some perspective on the tray loads because this is two pounds of blueberries that are poked and then this is three pounds of blueberries that are poked so it's a little bit taller as you can see and definitely has more of a layer to it we're going to see how both of these dry and what the difference is in consistency is of the dry when they're more overloaded versus when they are just a more single layer like two pounds versus three pounds so I have a Harvest Right large freeze dryer and I don't change any of the default settings that come with it for fruit specifically. I keep everything the same except for maybe the final dry time. You can change that however long you want it to be extra dry. Usually when it's on that final dry process, I'm right by the machine and if I want more time, I'll add it. So in the freeze dryer that we're gonna do for this cycle is 12 pounds of blueberries. We've also got a couple of trays that don't have any poking to it of the skin so we're going to see how that does and then we've got a tray that has three pounds on it versus two pounds so a lot of fun stuff to kind of see how it all turns out we'll wait for this cycle to get done and then we'll see how it all turned out all right blueberries are done so with that 12 pounds of blueberries it took around 47 hours now i'm warming the trays up just so it can get a little bit more uh, warmer i just wasn't able to get it here earlier in the day so we're just going to warm up the trays and then we'll take a look at the blueberries blueberries are done they're done freeze drying and so what i'm going to show you is the various different trays now if you recall we did some with the roller berry where we poked the skin we wanted to release the moisture out of the berry and then we also did a couple of trays with different pounds so we did one tray with two pounds one tray with three so let's take a look at those trays all right everybody i just took two trays out of the freeze dryer one tray is poked that's the one that's poked that we did with the roller berry and then this one is not and as you can see quite a big difference so this is the tray that we didn't poke the skin and remember the reason we're poking the skin is because there's moisture inside these blueberries obviously and when they have a skin or most berries that have a skin Basically, there's no way for that moisture to release. So unlike other fruits, there is a way for that water to release, but with blueberries, there's a skin. So again, this is the tray that, as you can see, it just has this red and it actually like crushes. You see all that, how it's crushing with just my finger? It's just really poor quality in terms of the overall product. Now, take a look at this tray. Now, this is the tray that we poked. As you can see, there's barely any type of juices that were released, maybe one or two from ones we just didn't get enough poking on. This blueberry doesn't really crush at all. And even if it does, it still stays intact and you get that really crispy crunch. Now, the reason you're hearing that popping is because I just came out of the freeze dryer. So again, here's the two trays. This tray that has them poked, you really get a really nice blueberry. Okay, so now what I'm showing you is the two trays that were poked but one of them had three pounds. That's this one right here. It's a little bit overloaded. And then this one has 
just two pounds of blueberries that are poked with the roller berry. And as we can see with this three pound one, let's dig down into the kind of the middle and see if it's dry. Yep. It's good product. Hey, I wanted to show you one more tray. This is a tray that we didn't poke. And I wanted to show you just, look at look at how some of these blueberries turned out. Shriveled up and things, it's just very inconsistent, still has some moisture in it. Also, the blueberries that are shriveled up that you see have moisture in them, so if you just throw them in a bag or throw them in your bucket for storage, it's really gonna spoil all your freeze-dried blueberries that were already dried. Okay, so if you're wondering what blueberries taste like freeze-dried, a freeze-dried blueberry when it's poked and it's done perfectly, it's super crunchy. Over the past three years of doing freeze drying, I feel like freeze drying for fruit and other types of things, even candy, the flavor for certain things just hits more quickly than others, which I really like. All right, so one thing about freeze drying that you should definitely know about is you're gonna wanna store your freeze dried fruit. And what I use for kind of temporary storage until I'm ready to bag it is I use a five gallon bucket that has a gamma seal lid on it, which is kind of an airtight type of lid. So I'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna put the berries that I poked in there and we're gonna kind of probably discard the ones that I didn't poke or kind of use them in maybe some other ways. All right, so here's the five gallon bucket and this is what they call the gamma seal lid. I've got a link in the description of this video if you wanna buy it off of Amazon but it has this rubber gasket as you can see here and that's what creates that seal and then it has a really good amount of spin to it and then you just tighten it up and what I usually do is I put some desiccant packets down here to just absorb any type of moisture or anything. I'm not too concerned with air at this point because it's just, just so short term right now of using the bucket. So I'm gonna dump the blueberries in here that, that I poked with the roller berry. And I already had some blueberries in there, which is totally fine. I did actually have a big wholesale order for blueberries this past Christmas. Usually my bags that I put together, I have a net weight of 1.2 ounces of blueberries that I sell. And I was able to get about 60 bags if I filled this up to the top. 60 bags of blueberries at 1.2 net ounces. Then we're just gonna seal it back up. All right, and then we're done. Hey, it was a blast doing freeze-dried blueberries. I hope the roller berry and poking the skin of the blueberries made sense for you. Remember, we just wanna poke them for purely to release the moisture out of the blueberries because the skin provides that kind of compact pressure that's not gonna give you the best crunch and the most high quality product. And that's what it's really all about when it comes to freeze drying. If you wanna purchase the roller berry, go ahead and go to frozenright.com. Let them know that David from the Freeze Dried Business Channel sent you. Also, you can subscribe to this channel or like this video if it was helpful for your business. Hey, have a great day and make an impact to your community using your business. We'll see you next time.